Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Sunday, December the 2nd. Today is the beginning of the new church year, the first Sunday in Advent, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 113, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 1 to 10. Our health is in the name of God the Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior, Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Praise, O oh servants of our God the Most High. Praise the name of Yahweh. Psalm 113. Praise, O oh servants of our God the Most High. Praise the name of Yahweh. May God's holy name be blessed now and forever, from the rising of the sun to its setting. High above all nations is our God, above the heavens, God's glory. Who is like you, our God, the one enthroned on high, who stoops from heaven to look down, and to look down upon heaven and earth? From the dust heap you lift the lowly, from the dung heap you raise the poor, to set them in the company of rulers, yes, with the rulers of the people. And to the childless wife you give a home, and gladden her heart with children. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Praise, O servants of our God the Most High. Praise the name of Yahweh. The lesson is the second letter of Peter, chapter 3, beginning at verse 1. This is now, beloved, the second letter I am writing to you. In them I am trying to arouse your sincere intention by reminding you that you should remember the words spoken in the past by the holy prophets and the commandment of the Lord and Savior spoken through your apostles. First, you must understand this, that in the last days scoffers will come, scold, scoffing and indulging their own lust, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For ever since our ancestors died, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. They deliberately ignore this fact that by the word of God, heavens existed long ago, and an earth was formed out of water and by means of water, through which the world of that time was deluged with water and perished. But by the same word, the present heavens and earth have been preserved, reserved for fire, being kept until the day of judgment and destruction of the godless. But do not ignore this one fact, that with the Lord one day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like one day. The Lord is not slow about his promise, as some think of slowness, but is patient with you, not wanting any to perish, but all to come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief, and when the heaven, then the heavens will pass away, and a loud noise and the elements will be dissolved with fire, and the earth and everything that is done on it will be disclosed. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name. 
Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and the almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. Bless us and keep us now and forever. 